Every time a leaf is broken in Minecraft, there's a 1 in 200 chance that it drops an apple. Now we could get this to happen by breaking the leaves with our hands or with a tool, or we could go around chopping down the trees and waiting for the leaves to decay. Let's assume that our goal is to get an apple as quickly as possible. Then what strategy should we use in order to make that happen? Today we're going to use some math to answer that question. If you have any other ideas for questions that maybe could be answered with some math, leave a comment and I'll see what I can do. So the first thing we need to do is know how quickly leaves decay. Let's say each leaf has a probability p of decaying each second and that the tree starts with n leaves. In the first second, after all the wood is broken, we expect that n times p of the leaves will have decayed on average. And every second after that, we expect that p times the number of remaining leaves will decay. And doing this logic inductively, we can come up with a general expression for how many leaves have decayed after t seconds. So we just need to know what is n and what is p. To make things simple, we're going to assume that every tree is a normal sized oak tree. Based on some data I got from counting, n equals 55 on average. And based on a comment on Reddit that I found, each leaf block has a 15 in 1024 chance of decaying each second, so we're going to say p is about 1.46%. So here's a graph showing the average number of leaves that have decayed over time after you finish chopping down a tree. You can see that about 20 leaves will decay in 30 seconds, and then 32 leaves will have decayed in 60 seconds. And usually it's going to take more than 2 minutes for all of the leaves to completely decay. First, we will find the best strategy to get an apple when you start a new world. After that, we'll also find the best strategy once you already have some gear later in the game. So we'll assume that you spawn in a normal forest, which is pretty common. And to make things simpler, we will also assume that every tree is an oak tree, and that the leaves of different trees don't overlap with each other. That never really turns out to be true in practice, but this would be too complicated otherwise. You can break either leaves or wood using your hand, but you can break leaves faster with a hoe, and you can break wood blocks faster with an axe. So based on that information, here's four strategies we will compare. Strategy number one, break as many leaves as possible using your hands, don't waste any time crafting tools. Strategy two, Break the top four wood of the first tree you see with your hand, use that to craft four wooden hoes, then go around with those four wooden hoes breaking as many leaves as possible. Strategy three, break the top three wood of the first tree, dig down until you hit stone, craft a wooden pickaxe, mine three stone, and use that to craft a stone axe. With the stone axe, go around breaking the top three wood of as many trees as possible so that the leaves decay. And strategy four, break the top three wood of the first tree, Dig down to find stone, craft a wooden pickaxe, mine four stone, craft two stone hoes, and use those stone hoes to break as many leaves as possible. There are lots of different ways you can modify these strategies slightly in terms of the numbers, but these are the four basic types, and these are the ones we're going to compare. This graph compares the strategies during the first three minutes. So the y-axis shows how many leaves will be broken on average by each strategy. So for this graph, we care most about which strategy is the fastest to break about 200 leaves, since around 200 leaves is when you are most likely to get your first apple. So looking at the graph, you can see if you hope to get really lucky, and maybe you'll get one within the first 100 leaves, then you want to just break leaves by hand. But most of the time, it's going to be closer to 200, and you want to use the four wooden hose strategy. If you're trying to get a lot of apples, like four or five or more, then you'll want to make a stone axe, because that strategy eventually does break more leaves. What if you want an apple as quickly as possible but later in the game? Maybe you're doing a manhunt or UHC and you want to make golden apples. Let's assume you can make as many stone hoes and axes as needed. You could either break leaves with the stone hoes or cut down trees with the stone axes. There's also a third reasonable strategy, TNT. Since the 1.14 update, TNT doesn't destroy the drops of any blocks that it breaks. And I found that putting a TNT on top of a tree usually breaks about 50 of the 55 leaves. For the TNT strategy, let's assume you have 9 TNT, as if you found a desert temple. This graph shows that using stone hose is the fastest way to get 6 apples or less. Only if you need more than that would it be faster to chop down trees with a stone axe, and even though the TNT strategy is a lot of fun, that never turns out to be the fastest. To summarize what we've learned, if it's the beginning of the game and you want an apple as quickly as possible, craft a few wooden hoes and break the leaves with that. If it's later in the game and you have some materials, craft a stone hoe, an iron hoe, break a bunch of leaves with that, and you'll get an apple. 
Thanks for watching.